The origin of the Bill of Rights is rooted in the debates and concerns that emerged during the early years of the United States. Here's a detailed look at how the Bill of Rights came into existence. 1. Historical Context After the American Revolutionary War, the Articles of Confederation created a weak central government with limited powers. This led to numerous issues, including economic instability and difficulties in governing effectively. In response, the Constitutional Convention was convened in Philadelphia in 1787 to address these problems and draft a new framework of government. 2. The Constitutional Convention The delegates at the Constitutional Convention, led by figures such as James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and George Washington, crafted the U.S. Constitution. The new Constitution proposed a stronger federal government with expanded powers, including the ability to tax, regulate commerce, and maintain a standing army. While the Constitution aimed to create a more effective and unified government, it did not initially include explicit protections for individual liberties. 3. Anti-Federalist Concerns As the Constitution was presented to the states for ratification, it faced strong opposition from the Anti-Federalists. They were concerned that the new Constitution concentrated too much power in the hands of the federal government and lacked clear protections for individual rights. Prominent Anti-Federalists like Patrick Henry and George Mason argued that without a specific Bill of Rights, the federal government might infringe on personal freedoms and state sovereignty. 4. Federalist Response Federalists, including key figures like Alexander Hamilton and James Madison, defended the proposed Constitution but initially argued that a Bill of Rights was unnecessary. They believed that the structure of the government itself, with its system of checks and balances, would protect individual freedoms. However, they were also aware of the need to address the concerns of the Anti-Federalists to secure ratification. 5. The Compromise During the ratification debates, Federalists eventually agreed to include a Bill of Rights as a compromise to ensure broader support for the Constitution. James Madison, who had initially been skeptical of the need for a Bill of Rights, became a leading advocate for its inclusion. He recognized that explicit protections for individual liberties would help address the concerns of anti-federalists and secure the new government's legitimacy. 6. Drafting and Ratification In 1789, James Madison introduced a series of amendments to the newly ratified Constitution. His proposed amendments drew on ideas from various state constitutions and earlier documents, such as the Virginia Declaration of Rights. Madison's proposals were debated and refined by Congress. By September 1791, 10 of these amendments were ratified by three-fourths of the state legislatures, officially becoming the Bill of Rights. 7. Significance The Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution to protect fundamental freedoms and limit the power of the federal government, addressing the key concerns of the Anti-Federalists. It established essential protections for individual rights, including freedom of speech, religion, and due process, and has since become a cornerstone of American legal and cultural values. In summary, the Bill of Rights originated from a combination of constitutional debates, anti-federalist concerns, and a political compromise aimed at securing the new Constitution's ratification. Its adoption marked a significant moment in American history, embedding critical protections for individual liberties within the framework of the U.S. Constitution. The Significance of the Bill of Rights The Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the U.S. Constitution, holds profound significance in American governance and society. Ratified in 1791, these amendments were crafted to protect individual liberties and limit government power, addressing concerns from the Anti-Federalists who feared that the new Constitution could lead to tyranny. Here's a detailed exploration of their significance. 1. Protection of Individual Freedoms The Bill of Rights guarantees fundamental personal freedoms that are essential to democratic life. First Amendment protects freedom of speech, press, assembly, religion, and petition, ensuring that individuals can express their views and advocate for change without fear of government retaliation. This amendment is critical for maintaining a free and open society where diverse opinions can flourish. Second Amendment secures the right to bear arms, reflecting the historical context of the right to self-defense and maintaining a militia. Third Amendment prohibits the quartering of soldiers in private homes during peacetime, a reaction to British practices that Americans found intrusive. Two limits on government power. 
These amendments establish clear boundaries on government authority to prevent abuse. Fourth Amendment protects against unreasonable searches and seizures, requiring law enforcement to obtain warrants based on probable cause. This amendment ensures personal privacy and protects citizens from invasive government actions. Fifth Amendment provides protections against self-incrimination, double jeopardy, and ensures due process of law. It includes the right to a grand jury indictment for serious crimes and safeguards against unfair treatment by the government. Sixth Amendment guarantees rights to a fair trial, including a speedy and public trial, an impartial jury, and the right to confront witnesses. It also ensures the right to legal counsel, ensuring that defendants have a fair opportunity to defend themselves in court. 3. Judicial Review and Rights Enforcement The Bill of Rights has empowered the judiciary to uphold and enforce these protections. Landmark Supreme Court decisions have used the Bill of Rights to set precedents for civil liberties. For example, Miranda v. Arizona, 1966, required that individuals in custody be informed of their rights to remain silent and to an attorney based on the Fifth Amendment protections. The Fourteenth Amendment's Due Process Clause has extended many Bill of Rights protections to the states, reinforcing the commitment to individual rights across the entire country. 4. Foundation for Expanding Rights The principles of the Bill of Rights have served as a springboard for subsequent civil rights advancements. 19th Amendment, 1920 granted women the right to vote, expanding the scope of the democratic principles embedded in the Bill of Rights. Civil Rights Act of 1964 addressed racial discrimination, leveraging the constitutional protections to combat inequality. 5. Public Trust and Legitimacy The inclusion of the Bill of Rights was crucial in gaining support for the new Constitution. Anti-Federalists, who were concerned about the potential for federal overreach, were reassured by the promise of these amendments. This compromise helped secure the ratification of the Constitution and demonstrated the Framers' commitment to protecting individual liberties. 6. Cultural and Historical Impact The Bill of Rights has deeply influenced American culture and identity. It has become a symbol of freedom and democracy, shaping American values and legal traditions. Educational institutions, political leaders, and activists frequently reference the Bill of Rights in discussions about civil liberties and rights. Its impact extends into various aspects of life, including media, education, and personal relationships, reinforcing the values of personal autonomy and protection against government overreach. In summary, the Bill of Rights is a foundational element of American democracy, providing essential protections for individual freedoms and establishing limits on government power. Its enduring significance lies in its role as a guardian of personal liberties and a reflection of the values that underpin the American legal and cultural landscape. The Bill of Rights is a cornerstone of American democracy, embodying the commitment to safeguarding individual liberties and limiting government power. By securing fundamental freedoms such as speech, religion, and privacy, and by establishing clear constraints on government authority, these first ten amendments ensure that personal rights are protected against potential abuses. Their impact extends beyond legal frameworks, shaping American culture, public trust, and the nation's approach to civil rights. The Bill of Rights not only reinforces the principles of justice and fairness, but also continues to inspire and guide the evolution of American democracy, affirming its role as a vital guardian of freedom and equality.